Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Thank you for joining me here. My name is Anastasia. I'm a real estate agent here in Chicago. If this is the first video you're watching on my channel, make sure you subscribe because I am committed to producing high quality content that will help you navigate real estate in Chicagoland. All right, so in today's video, we're gonna talk about six plus one, <laughs> six questions to ask yourself before you decide that you want to buy a property. If you have not watched it yet, here's another video I made about uh, the home buying process 101. This video is really basic. It talks about things you need to consider when you just had that initial thought of, oh my God, maybe I wanna become a homeowner. So in this video, we're gonna just go a little bit deeper and talk about six things that you'll need to keep in mind and you need to be ready for when we talk about the home buying, all right? Okay, so if you're ready, let's start. We all know that buying a property is one of the biggest financial decisions you're gonna make in your life. I mean, come on, like, two bedroom condos in Chicago in the Lakeview neighborhood I'm located in sell for $400,000. Wow, that's a lot of money. So the first question to ask yourself will be, how is your financial health? Before clicking through tons of online listings, looking at the properties, thinking about, oh, I could put my couch here, this could be my home office, do a real audit of your finances. You will need to be prepared for both the um, expenses that go along with buying a property and then the ongoing maintenance expenses. So to start, review the following. Look at your spendings, review your savings, and make sure you know your credit score. I will be going more in detail about all of these three in my future videos. So let's go to the second question. And it is, which type of home best suits your needs? As you know, there are multiple types of properties available on the market. Those are condos, townhouses, single family houses, co-ops, um, multi-unit buildings, and duplexes. Each option has its pros and cons, and you need to think about which one will work better for you. Do you wanna buy a two to four flat and rent out the other units and occupy one of the units and maybe have the renters cover your monthly payment? Or do you want a duplex where you can have other, either a duplex down or a duplex up where you can have your separate like office space or maybe a studio space or maybe you just want a regular two bedroom three bedroom condo or perhaps you need a single family home for your growing family whatever is your case make sure that the property you're looking for really fits your needs our third question goes more in depth on the second question and it is what are your must-haves what are the absolute must features a house has to have. For instance, do you want a gated yard where your dog can run easily outside and you don't have to like really watch it and be worried that they might run away? Or maybe you want um, a patio or a deck where you can put your grill and, you know, enjoy nice sunny Chicago summer nights. <laughs> well, not sunny warm Chicago summer nights. Or perhaps you want a fireplace, well, like the one behind me, um, so you can spend cozy winter nights by the fireplace. Think about that and make sure the houses you look at really meet these must-haves and your wants. Whatever you desire, your uh, list of features must really include like basic things like the size of the property or the neighborhood or the floor level to more specific things like the layout of the kitchen. Do you want a separate dining room? How do you want your bedrooms to be uh, located within the property? Think about that. And we go to the next 
Question number four, how much mortgage can you qualify for? If you have already talked to some real estate agents, I am 100% positive they had asked you whether you had been pre-approved. Why does it matter? Because looking at your financial situation from your point, you might think, oh, I can afford to buy a property that costs 400,000, but actually, Looking from the lender standpoint, they might think, no, you're actually only good for 300,000. Based on the factors like how much debt you have, your monthly income, how much you're putting down and things like that. So make sure you get pre-approved. It really helps with the search. Sometimes you cannot even get a showing at a property without being pre-approved. It just helps you better understand what you're looking for and what you can afford, like you really can afford and that way you do not fall in love with the property you cannot buy like who want that like i can dream of a million dollar houses but i know i cannot afford them <laughs> you know so just don't get um stressed about pre-approval it's an easy process and it will really help both you and the agent you're working with question number five goes directly out of the previous question and it is how much home can you actually afford? So going back to the pre-approval process, um, you might think you're good for 400,000, but then the lender tells you, oh, you're actually good for 600,000. Does it mean you have to look for houses or homes that cost 600,000? Uh, probably no. Consider the property taxes in the neighborhood you choose and things like homeowners insurance and repairs and maintenance and if it's a single family house then it's much more maintenance of like your yard, your uh, deck, your um, like front and things like that or if it's a condo consider the HOA fees that tend to go up every year. Consider how much you anticipate spending on improving the property and how much your closing costs will be. The more expensive the house, the higher the closing costs. So just because a bank tells you you can afford 600,000, it does not mean you have to spend that much money. All right, and the last question is my favorite one. Who will help you? navigate the process of home buying. I see some buyers, or I should say potential buyers, not really wanting to work with an agent. And that just doesn't make sense to me because in a 99% of cases, it is free for you. You don't pay the commission uh, when you're a buyer. Um, so if you choose the right agent, they're really gonna make the process easier and they will guide you, they will, um, especially if you're a first time home buyer, they will explain you like the every step or at least, I mean, I would, this is my personal style of work, some agents have a different style, but it just helps to be with someone who understands the process, not from only your side, but from both sides and who can advise and um, be a guide to neighborhood, who can get access to private listings and things like that. There's just so many benefits. So make sure you choose the agent and you work with an agent from the very beginning. It will actually make the process way easier and more enjoyable. It, it is really stressful, don't get me wrong, it is stressful, but a good agent will make it much less stressful and much more enjoyable. All right, so these are the six questions I want you to ask yourself if you're considering buying a property. If you have any additional questions, um, shoot me a message in Facebook or Instagram, or you can also use the comments down below to put your questions there. I will answer them right away. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you subscribe to my channel because I am producing more and more content that will help you navigate Chicago real estate market. Bye for now.